Hi folks, it's Paul here from Fighting the Good Fight. Just putting a quick video blog together on a plan that I have initiated and that's the trek to Everest Base Camp in 2023, the May of 2023. Now what I plan to do is fly out from Heathrow uh, to um, Nepal, um, to Kathmandu and then to spend a day or two in Kathmandu and then to fly out to uh, Lukla Airport which apparently is the most dangerous airport in the world um, we don't half know how to pick them and then I'll be trekking from there to Everest and back again which is going to take me approximately 14 days of trekking up to heights of 6,000 meters and I believe trekking about eight hours a day to get this done this is going to be a challenge this is no holiday for me. Um, holidays for me are going to the Far East, lounging on the beach, somewhere tropical, somewhere warm, hot, under a palm tree, drinking rum cocktails. That's it for me. So this is not going to be an easy trek. One, I'm frightened of heights. Two, I have lower limb injuries. Three, I do have mental health issues, okay? And this is the reason why I'm going to trek Everest. Um, scaling heights of 6,000 meters, is going to be a challenge for me, believe you me. I mean, I get vertigo standing on a curb. So um, 6,000 meters is going to be quite interesting. But it's a challenge I'm willing to undertake to help the two charities I've decided to do this for. And this is where your help comes in, okay? So um, I'm going to be after your help in uh, donations um, for the two charities I've chosen. One, the London Irish Foundation, and two, a papyrus, okay? London, uh, London Irish Foundation help um, teenagers in um, homeless situations, um, in situations where they've been involved in crime, drug abuse, being abused, um, minority groups, and basically the London Irish Foundation put on projects to help these individuals have some hope of a future, okay? And remember, these kids um, that have just been forgotten about or tossed to one side and looked upon as troublemakers need help, okay? Um, they are our future at the end of the day. And some of these kids, or a lot of these kids and teenagers have a lot to give, they're just never given the opportunity. So London Irish Foundation give the youth an opportunity through the power of sport and in particular rugby. Um, the other <clears throat> charity that I'm uh, aiming to help are a uh, charity called P P Papyrus. Um, can hardly pronounce that. Papyrus, I think, is the correct pronunciation. Um, and they help with the prevention of young uh, uh, personnel that uh, you know have uh, are wanting or have attempted to commit suicide. Uh, have suicidal thoughts and also help the families of those where they've lost their loved ones that are you know youngsters to suicide. Um, my sister Jack's been uh, one of them, lost one of her sons, he was 21. Louis, God bless him, um, absolute gem of an individual, so giving, so loving, um, daft, um, funny, uh, had his whole life ahead of him, uh, 21 years old, um, great rugby player, and a great individual who was in the army and he committed suicide. Um, God bless him and we miss him terribly. And we didn't recognize anything to give away that he was unhappy. So, you know, this is a really important um, charity to, to help me raise money for. So they're the two charities that I intend to um, help through conquering my fears of heights, um, and uh, tab into Everest Base Camp. Um, it is going to be quite tricky, it's going to be quite dangerous. Um, just to let you know a little bit about the heights we'll be scaling, 6,000 metres is approximately 2,000 metres under what they class as the death zone, um, and that's where the body basically starts to shut down, it rots, it starts dying um, because it cannot function with the lack of oxygen at that height. So it's going to be tough at 6,000 metres, 5,000 metres, 4,000 metres, um, due to the fact that the, the air is so thin and it's difficult to get the oxygen into the blood. So, um, you know, it's going to be a tough old slog. Um, it is uphill all the way. Um, there will be some downhill bits coming back. 
Um, however, it is going to be uphill. So I'm in training at the moment, going for plenty of walks, which helps with my mental health issues. Um, it helps strengthen my legs, and there's a lot of strengthening that's needed there. I, as I say, I do have issues with my legs. Unfortunately, um, I suffered um, in the army with uh, operations on my lower limbs, and um, yeah, they're still not fully recovered. But you know, I, I, yeah, I plan to, to get there. If this was an easy task, then uh, at the end of the day, um, I wouldn't be doing it. So there are quite a few challenges along the way. And you can help. At the end of this will be all the information you need to know. There'll be my contact details. There will be uh, Papyrus and London Irish details. So you can read up on, on what they do uh, for, for the youth. Um, and hopefully you will, um, you know, put your hands in your pockets and, and help me help them. Um, which is what it's all about. Unfortunately, it is down to people like myself and you guys um, to help um, charitable um, events and uh, charities and foundations because the government don't do it. Okay, so it is down to people like us to, um, to get amongst it and raise what we can for such good causes. So, you know, please help when you can. Even if you share this, you are helping. Okay, I will be at London Irish um, Rugby. I will be at Brentford Stadium. Uh, I will be putting on, a, you know, a stand, um, collection buckets. There will be leaflets going around. Anything to help um, and promote this. Okay. Um, if anyone out there is watching this that has a business and they want to sponsor me, then um, you know sponsorships um, would be uh, gratefully received. In return, I will uh, put the logos on my um, climbing gear um, and also promote through local media nearer the time of departure okay obviously we've got two years in front of us it is costing me quite a, a, a lot of money um you know i've already put a fair old amount to it i'm not expecting people to pay towards um you know me going out there and doing this uh not by a long shot you know I, you know please donate to the various charities through my virgin giving page that would be fantastic. But if there is a business out there or a businessman, businesswoman out there that wishes to help me to offset the costs, then obviously, you know, I'd be very, very grateful. Um, but anyway, that's it from me. Please take care of yourselves. Namaste. All the very best. Thank you.